Good morning. Wow, this, this chair really feels like it's about to break. Uh, today, we're coming off the back of driving the McLaren Senna yesterday. But today, I'm having myself somewhat of a Portuguese road trip. I'm driving from Estoril, which is where I am right now, all the way down the coast. That, that blue line's kind of incorrect. I'm gonna skirt this coastline here. And there's this really beautiful place, which is a park and garden. It's a national park and garden, which is right on the coast which is no doubt going to be absolutely stunning, uh, to ultimately end up at Portimao for a McLaren Pure event, which is a dedicated track event ran by McLaren. It'll be my first one. They are becoming quite famous at events. Everyone who's been on one, I'm told they're fantastic. I'm yet to have been on one. And today I have a McLaren 570S Spider in which to take part in this wonderful jet. Let's hit it. This wonderful 570S Spider. I think this is one of the most compelling packages and cars from McLaren right now. Look at the amount of carbon we've got here. There's carbon splitters or extended canards, carbon sills, carbon vents on the side for the air intake. That always looks great. And I would imagine, yep, big carbon rear diffuser. I love how you can see the back of the gearbox and transmission and exhaust through this splitter. It's so cool. So yes, any day with a McLaren is a good day, but when the sun is shining like this, this has to be one of their most compelling cars. The fact that it's got a full carbon tub, you take the roof off, zero compromise. And of course it lets in all of those audible delights with the roof down. It's an amazing package. Every time I get in a 570, I do question what more you'd need. The performance from them is ridiculous. Uh, straight line, acceleration as well. I know they've been benchmarked against a few cars and they just punch so far above their weight. So to be able to experience this on some nice sticky roads out here in sunny hot Portugal is gonna be fantastic. And then ending up at Pure, hopefully experiencing this and some more cars on the track. So we're now uh, waiting for Hunter, who is uh, become a good friend of mine from McLaren. We're gonna immerse ourselves in this 570S in the sunshine. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh honey, though our friendship ceases from now on. So it's a good start in the morning, that. Yeah. So this is my friend Hunter, who just conveniently happens to be social media manager at McLaren. <laughs> He's very kindly managed to arrange us this uh, 570S Spider, which reminds me. Oh yeah, we need to, <laughs> we need to the take roof. the roof off. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take the roof off. Here we are, this is happening. Literally the best car you make. This is the. This is everything. It I is. love this car. It, it is, is so good. There we are. So we're having a little bit of a Portuguese coastal adventure today with the roof open and a supercar. <laughs> Sounds like the dream, man. I'm so excited for this. Yeah. Um, also, I've been coming to Portugal since I was like three years old. My auntie yeah. lives out here. Yeah. And uh, I've always seen all these fantastic roads and never actually had the opportunity to drive them. So what better day and in what better car? Let's do it, man. Okay, a few hours drive, obvious change of driver since then. <laughs> so Hunter's been in a really unique position over that, what, two weeks? About two weeks, yeah. Two weeks you've been, uh, been manning the Senna launch. So I flew, I know, That's it's insane, quite an dude. unusual position to be in. I flew straight from Los Angeles, yeah. where we did the Forza announcement at E3. Which is a massive deal. That was a big thing. 
that yeah. was a hell of a thing to witness. So the Senna is the star car of Forza Horizon 4. Exactly, exactly. And that's been such a cool project, man. Um, so I did that, Amazing. then flew directly from Los Angeles to Estoril mm -hmm. in Portugal. And then basically it was all hands on deck to get the Senna's, I don't know what multiple of sen the Senna's, the Senna <laughs> to get the Senna <laughs> ready for you lot to drive. Okay, and, and you, then, so you've been dealing with international media yes. for two weeks, back yeah, to back. Pretty every much day. that, yeah, wave after wave after wave of different media from different countries. I get to meet people from all around the world from different countries who do the different things and they're all just into cars. Yeah. Um, and it naturally immediately descends into car geeking over dinner <laughs> all the whole time. And it's fascinating to see how different places in the world like different cars. It's cool, right? Um, yeah. At exactly. the same time, don't you find that no matter what country they're from, car peoples kind of speak the same language. Yeah. You know, everyone's on the same mindset. Yeah. And they all there for one thing, which is yeah. just to like have a massive appreciation for yeah. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Incredible cars. Yeah, exactly. And I think for me, the best thing about this one has been because the center is so ridiculously fast. <laughs> Oh, we've been having dinner with different people every evening, and I yeah. kind of know what they've got in store for them the next day. Yeah, and like and you have no idea what's yeah, about to happen. They don't know, and then they get strapped into it. Yeah, and they kind of, and then everything suddenly gets very serious, and they realise what they're in for. And I just love the expression on their faces when they first get out of the car because we put we put months and months and months and months of work into this kind of thing. Yeah, and then they get out of the car and they're like. Oh, Fried, uh, scrambled. Yeah, like, what? Yeah. I noticed a few people. They would come out of their car, and their faces would be like, "What the hell just happened?" <laughs> yeah. And then I'd see them sit down in a corner and sort of process it as to what's just happened. Yeah, you genuinely that need to sit cool. down after that car. Yeah. So the idea of this drive, um, which is why the edit might be a bit casual, but I always love bringing you along for supercar journeys is that we've both been flat out on it in our various work lives and we both got into this game just because we love driving. Yep. And so we thought, I tell you what, rather than going straight to pure, getting back on your job and my job, why don't we come for a drive? Why don't we just go for a drive? And I mean, it's so nice cool. to enjoy a drive and just, like, today I feel how I felt when I first started and it was just about the pure love of cars. I love that. I feel the same way. That was a pretty uh, super quick transition from lunch. We were planning on filming a bit of chat and dialogue, but they had the Rolling Stones playing. So we're gonna hop back into 570S and make our way all the way down to Portimao. And the sun's finally coming out. Okay, finally made it. It was quite a quick transition, to be fair, from the car to the hotel. Much longer drive than we expected. When we got onto Google Maps, it was like a three hour day. Turned into a bit of a six hour day, but the detour has been phenomenal. It's some incredible coastal Portuguese roads. Every time, 570S has been phenomenal. Uh, I love the torque. The torque is relentless. It's so effortless, and when you're overtaking and coming out of corners, particularly the way it hooks up, under traction in low gears and you're smashing through with that gorgeous twin clutch gearbox. Fantastic. Anyway, behold our wonderful hotel and we are right on the coast. So I'm gonna check in and then show you around briefly before we sign off. What do you think of this hotel? It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing. Uh, look at the view. Yeah, Let's see if my camera will adjust. Have a look. look at this out there. How incredible is this? Let's just go out. See where we're staying. One of the great perks about YouTube and this job in general, if you can classify this as a job, sometimes I pinch myself. <laughs> it's the locations we come to. Look at this! Not bad, is it? Wow! Oh, I love how crisp and white everything is. The view's incredible. Ah, beach is huge. Check out the view. Oh, we're really, really up high on a serious cliff face here. Yeah.
Now we're here, have a debrief and a chill. It's good to spend some more time in a McLaren. Almost a year since I sold my LT. I know. I miss it. I would miss that car too. Do you think that was your favorite experience you've had in a McLaren, that car? Without exception. Really? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it was because it was totally unexpected and I approached it with no, well, the expectations. Mm. I sort of, the backstory behind me driving that car, and if, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, I'll link below. So I was actually in Tenerife for the launch of the 570 yes, GT. Were. And some of the best driving roads I've ever experienced. And my flight was like several hours later than everyone else. And Wayne saw me just walking around the hotel with nothing to do. And there was this 675 LT Spider parked outside. And he just threw me the keys and went to go and check that out. I was like, all right, cool. So I got in this car. I was 100 yards down the road. <laughs> and I actually stopped it and I was like, hold on a minute. This is a whole different thing. And just by pure coincidence, an hour before that, I'd been out in a 650S. And when you step in them with the engine turned off, they feel the same car. And then it, without even turning a wheel, you turn it on and you realize that just based on the amount of vibration that comes through the chassis, mm. in the seat, through the wheel, you're like, hold on a minute, this feels different immediately. 100 yards down the road, first few gear changes, I knew this was a totally different car. And then when I got it on those roads, which are effectively wind up and down a volcano, mm -hmm. um, well, you've seen it. I kind of lost it a bit. Because it was the first time that I'd, I'd seen a supercar blur the lines between super and hypercar. Like it's, it was a joke. It is a wild beast, that car. Incredible thing. And on yeah. the right road, it's quite a special thing. There's one moment I will never forget more than anything at McLaren, and that was when we were doing the 720S launch. That was my first ever proper car launch. And I'd obviously changed from being a journalist to a PR, which is quite a jump. <laughs> and it's especially to start with the 720S, which was a huge project for us and an amazing car. And the first day we were there, we were at Vallelunga Circuit and we were filming. And I'd never had so many cameramen and crew and things before in my life. Yeah. And we have a pro driver called Rob Garifold, who's quite good at sliding cars around very fast. Yeah. And I was used to having people who could do that kind of thing, but never someone who was able to do a drift that was so mad, then just come back around, park the car up in front of me and say, is that too much or too little smoke? And I kind of, I kind of just went, there's, there's options. I didn't realize there was options here. And we had this one day of filming where we, we just kind of ran riot with the car around, around this track. And it was amazing. The footage we got from it. you could document there. those, those mm. moments. I, I think my iPhone is full of some quite <laughs> special behind the scenes <laughs> things. Yes, but that, that kind of moment where the right car in the right place with the right driver and just being able to witness it special times although I can't give away any secrets yeah. obviously we have many exciting things coming as I sh I'm sure you can imagine um, one yeah. of which we know you're going to be involved in yeah I will be getting into another McLaren and it will be quite a very fast one quite swift mm. <laughs> let's let's leave it at that let's leave it at that yeah guys as always thank you so much for watching I did say this would be more of a casual vlog because selfishly we've been treating this as somewhat of a day off really uh, just because we've both been intense and back to back in our it's been a really nice day, day to day lives but it's been mm. super cool but I still wanted to share it with you and it's not every day you have someone like Hunter to give you uh, some insights into behind the scenes of being a PR for such an awesome brand so pretty cool uh, as always leave comments below if you want to know anything and this week is packed full of really cool content because we have Senna drop it. Yes. So please stay tuned for that. Don't want to give too much away, but I'm sure you could appreciate it. it's going to be absurd. <laughs> Ciao.